testing one too. Hey, a few people are in here. Hi. Hey, a few people are in here. Hi. Hey, well, I got to turn my sound off on my iPad here. Oh, sorry about that, guys. Hey, it's nice to see you guys. Hello. Uh, hello from Ohio. It's a nice, blustery, 60-degree day, though. I, I'll take it. Um, yeah, how are you guys doing today? Uh, everybody having a nice uh, Sunday afternoon? Uh, you're working on some projects that uh, you've been thinking about doing or um, anyway just uh, jump on in there. Uh, does it sound okay? Somebody just uh, give me a thumbs up or something if it's okay. Hi Joanne. Hi Bridget. Uh, hello Caroline, Donna, Ella and Joanne, good. Thank you so much, you guys. Um, how did the LDT go? Uh, the laundry day tea? Is that what you mean? Because I was making one yesterday for my sister-in-law. It was great. Um, she loved it. I made a, actually on Friday, I made it, um, a um, bathing suit cover-up. It was uh, kind of longer than tunic length, but not as long as a dress uh, for her to throw over her bathing suit. It was supposed to be a gift when I got to Mexico and uh, we obviously didn't go with them. Um, so uh, we actually got to see them on Friday because they've been in quarantine and we're in quarantine. So we thought it was safe to get together. We played some cards. It was amazing to go do something normal. So I took it to her then and she loved it. It fit her perfectly and they have a pool so she'll get a lot of use out of it. Little River, South Carolina. Ooh, 70. I like that. Making masks. Yeah, I've got to, some more to make, too. <laughs> I, uh, my uh, brother-in-law call, uh, called me and said, hey, are you making masks? And he works full-time for the city, so um, I definitely will make him several. And, uh, yeah, I think I might enlist my grandchildren to help make masks. Um, I think they might enjoy that, so we'll see. catch up here. Oh, Northern Island. Hi, Libby. Um, what pattern am I using for masks? I'm using the one that was going around for the hospitals. Hang on, I'll go get one and show it to you. These are mine <laughs> for uh when I go out, I haven't used them yet because I really haven't been anywhere that I've needed to, but this is that pattern that's going around. Pretty, you know, pretty common one. So anyway, um, of course, you know me, I made a Mickey Mouse one, had to. <laughs> so um, yeah, I have two. I might need more than that by the time this is all over. Um, but a little bit of normalcy was really nice on Friday. I just can't even tell you that did my soul so much good. So have any of you gone out to see anybody like, like, like that? I mean, you know, we're both nurses. So we like talked and said, you know, they were home ever since they got back from Mexico. They haven't gone out. We haven't gone out. So, and like, it's way longer than the 14 days that neither family has gone out. So we thought, well, why not? You know, we could play some cards and it was great. We, uh, we always play hand and foot. I don't know if you've ever played that card game, but it's a lot of fun. 
and um, you play through a hand, and then you you know just when you think the game is going a certain way, you also have to play through a foot, and so the game can like turn on a dime, uh, which it did because uh, the girls won. Yay! Saw my daughter who's expecting in June for the oh for the first time in six weeks. That had to be wonderful. Um, yeah, I just, I want to cry when I think about seeing my kids and grandkids. Um, same thing with my daughter. They have not been out. Her husband's working from home. Um, and she asked me, Mom, how do you feel about keeping the kids overnight? I mean, she has four kids and she just needs a break. And I said, you know, my, my husband and I talked it over and I think, yeah, I think I would love to see them. So we're going to keep them Friday night, you know, Provided there's no reason not to uh, at that time, but, um, you know, everybody's healthy. No one's had a fever. Everybody's been in their own homes, so the kids haven't even played with outside. So there's no no danger, really. So, um, yeah, I just want to hug them. I can't wait to hug them. We had a friend visit on the drive. We kept our two meters distance and had a good chat. It was great. Oh, that's awesome. My brother's uh, son was moving back from Phoenix to Texas this weekend, and I guess, you know, they really can't even see them. So what they're going to do is uh, have the, they're going to put some lawn chairs in the yard, and they're going to sit on the front porch, and um, they will chit-chat that way so they can see them at least. I mean, they're in the same town, and they still couldn't see them. So, uh, yeah. Um, I'm using a wider camera angle in case um, I need to show you guys anything. So um, that's why I haven't, you know, gotten closer. Besides, the fabric and stuff is a lot more fun to look at than me. Oh, well, let's see. I got to hold my granddaughter today. She had forgotten me. Oh, Ella, that had to break your heart. Oh, how beautiful that you got to hold her. How old is she? Oh, that would be so hard. Um, Bridget said, okay, oh, I already read that one. Okay, Caroline said, my parents come over every weekend. They live eight miles away, and thank God we are all healthy. That is awesome. I don't live that close to my children, but I live, uh, we live in the same uh, general suburbia. <laughs> my daughter actually lives in Michigan, but I live um, in Toledo area, which is super close to the border. So she just lives right over the border. And um, she's having to deal with all those Michigan restrictions. Um, not been real fun, from what I understand. But, um, you know, every, no, nobody's done this before. So I think, you know, the stone throwing at people for choices they make is just really kind of awful. Because no one really knows how, you know, there's, there's no protocol. Because nobody's ever done this before. Except for maybe in the... Um, back in the World War II, before after World War II and the Spanish flu. Um, oh, you like the nude wide angle. <laughs> Good, thanks. Um, yeah, I don't, I feel like, you know, on these kind of videos, it's nice to, you know, kind of have some freedom to move around a little bit. And if I want to grab some fabric and show you or, um, you know, you guys get to see a little bit more of my sewing room. And besides, I cleaned it up, so... <laughs> Because usually it's kind of a mess. A lot of times, I'll, you know, I'm zoomed in and you guys aren't seeing that there are threads everywhere. <laughs> and, you know, it's just, a, you know, you know because you're all so, so you, I don't have to tell you what it's like. Adrian, I got your email right before I came on live. Um, the uh, uh, denim, you were talking about shopping for denim. And uh, maybe some other people have ideas here, too. I have never ordered denim online, um, but I know what I bought has been 10 ounce. And um, I have gotten it mostly at the warehouses that I go to, either the one in San Antonio or the one uh, in Indiana. Um, and those are the only two that I've gone to. Um, but if you have a, a fabric district close to you, um, it might be worth a go to go to one of the... Um, warehouses because I mean I pretty much was able to get it for five dollars a yard um, it's way more expensive than that in the major stores and like in Joann's and stuff so um, and online it's pretty pricey it can be um, if you like stretch denim I've heard really good things about that Kaufman super stretch 
Um, other than that, I really can't, I don't have any recommendations. I've really never bought it anything, I've never bought it other than what I can feel. So, um, I prefer, I think, regular denim over stretch denim for um, patterns that are able to, you know, you're able to do a non-stretch denim. Um, I kind of like that. It's more of a classic jean feel. The stretch denim, um, I, I bought some at Hobby Lobby. was not happy with it. Um, it sewed very nicely, but when I wear them, they stretch out and they don't recover. So they get really baggy really fast. So, um, and they fit perfectly, you know, and when I wash them out of the washer, they fit really perfectly. But about two hours after I have them on, they're huge. So um, I'm not real happy with that denim. So I would not recommend Hobby Lobby stretch denim. Um, oh, you walk to the beach one day with my adult granddaughter. Um, Wednesday after the opening, not too many on the beach. Oh, the, that's right. The beach has just reopened down there. Yeah. I can imagine most people are probably behaving on the beaches. Um, I think, you know, the problem was the spring breakers um, in Florida. I'm sure that was a handful. You know, I, I can't even imagine. I mean, they're, they're, you know, it's wonderful to be young. And, yet, and then again, there's, you know, just dangerous that go along with thinking that you're invincible. <laughs> Robert, Robert Kaufman, uh, super stretch is what I've, I've not ever purchased that online, but I've heard it's really, really nice denim and, uh, it's about $17 a yard. So, you know, probably, um, it should be for that price. Um, I've been tempted to buy some, but I haven't. Um, so if you do, let us know how you like it because, um, you know, I would, I would love to know how that is and save coupons or whatever and try to get some. Once in a while, I get Robert Kaufman fabric at the warehouse in San Antonio. They sometimes will have some Robert Kaufman, but I haven't seen the denim there yet. Um, I'm due for a trip to San Antonio. I was supposed to go the week after Easter, and of course... You know, I didn't go. So, um, but I'm, it's been, you know, several months since I've seen my brother. So it's time. <laughs> soon as we, soon as the restrictions let up and I feel like it's safe, well, I'll be on a plane down there to visit. My sister-in-law is not in the greatest of health. She has Parkinson's. And so I try to, um, and as you know, my brother had um, heart surgery this year too. And he's doing great. But um, I love to go down there and just, you know, we don't have to even do anything, just hang out with them. And um, they always make it so relaxing. And um, I try to be a help to them if I can. And um, we just kind of hang out and uh, watch videos and, you know, just <laughs> hang out. It's very relaxing there. So what all are you sewing this weekend? I uh, just printed a pattern this morning. I'm going to probably cut it out after this live thing. Um, the Dogwood um, Apron by Helen's Closet. Have you seen that? Um, it is, let's see, I wonder if I can post a link in here. I'm going to try. It is the, um, it's like a work apron that has places for scissors and whatnot. I'm going to get a link for you. It's by Helen's Closet. I just found a link to the fold line. Copy this. There's a link to the um, dogwood apron that I think I'm going to make today, or at least start today. Uh, Nancy said she just finished Ellie and Mac rash guards for her granddaughters. Oh, that's awesome. Um, 
Joanne pieced together the pattern for the Eddie Stone jeans. Oh, how is that pattern? You let us know. I haven't made that one. Um, but I do have some denim I could make it with. I have some black denim, actually, that I'd love to make some new jeans with. So I'm going to let's see. Penny. Hi, Penny. I haven't seen you online in a while. It's good to see you online. Um, she says she's sewing the Rhapsody from Love Notions from fabric she bought for a dollar. <laughs> I love that. On the remnant table at Joanne's a few months ago. Awesome. I love it when that happens. Um, Adrian says her two-year-old granddaughter and family are outside London. When they're having dinner, they FaceTime us and we have lunch when, while they have dinner. Oh, that's so cool. Uh, where are you, Adrian? I probably should know this by now, but I don't remember. Um, Bridget says Pietra pants and some tops and dresses for my grandchildren. Oh, wow. Everybody's, everybody's doing such great things. Penny said she needed a break from making masks. Oh, yeah. <laughs> And I haven't even made that many, but um, it. here's the thing. Sewing is like my escape from all that. So when you're sewing masks or scrubs, which, you know, it's a wonderful thing to do. And I, you know, I, I've said before, I, I applaud the people who are like mega doing it. I mean, I think you guys need a medal. And I've only done just a few. Um, but... <sighs> This is my sanctuary away from the problems of the world. So if I bring that into my sewing room, it doesn't like give me that outlet that I need to like get away from it. So yeah, you do just need to take a break from that. I just encourage you to take, take a break and make something pretty. Um, the other psychological, I guess, element to that is um, that to wear, make something pretty to wear just makes you feel good and you know we can't go anywhere you know so it's just really good to to have a um you know just a goal um so just something that you can put on and put some makeup on i told my husband this morning i said you know if it weren't for um you know recording our worship for church and <laughs> recording these videos I probably be in sweatpants all the time and stuff so yeah it's uh it's good it's good to get up and put makeup on and feel human again and to catch up here Caroline's making a few masks and then going to try to make a suit for her hobby oh wow that's an undertaking it's going to be a challenge but I'm up for it that is awesome there you go, girl. I have not done a whole suit. I've done a jacket and I've done pants. I haven't done an entire suit, um, you know, out of the same fabric and everything. So I actually made a suit jacket for my husband when we were in high school because we, he was my boyfriend then. And uh, yeah, so a lot of fun. Oh, let's see. Marilyn says she's in Northeast England. Hello, Marilyn. Nice to see you on here. Uh, let's see. Dorothy. Oh, another Dorothy. Hi. Just like my mom. A lot of people call me Dorothy, but my name is actually Kim. Dorothy was my mom. Um, Dr. Seuss Baby Quilt. Uh, just finished her Muslim for the first Cashmere Concord. Oh, I haven't seen that one yet. Is that a new Cashmere one? I haven't gotten an email on that one yet. I'll have to check that out. Um, I love Cashmere patterns. They're just so awesome. Marilyn says she needs a rest from making masks and scrubs um, bags, so she thinks she'll make something for herself tomorrow. Good idea. Hello, Kim from Missouri. Hi, Patricia. Nice to see you here. Uh, Karen says, hello from beautiful, sunny, and warm Barbados. Oh, boy, am I <laughs> jealous. That's awesome. Barbados is beautiful. Uh, lucky you. <laughs> um, are you guys on lockdown there, too, as well, like we are here in the U.S., or um, are you able to move about? Um, I am not sure. You know, I know we go to Jamaica, you know, fairly often, and I heard... Um, you know, there's only not very many cases down there. So how is it in Barbados? Um, Adrian is in Beth Bethesda, Maryland, outside of Washington, D.C. Very cool. Um, I love D.C. It's such a fun city to visit. Nancy says, I topped out at 900. 
all out of my stash. Oh, with the masks? Wow. 900. Wow, wow, wow. I haven't even done, I think I've probably done 50. Um, I'll probably end up doing about 75 by the time I'm done because I do have some more to make, but yeah. Good job because I don't know. I don't know if I could sit through that. It's just so monotonous. Um, but, you know, it's it's just, yeah, worthy of praise for sure. Um, my sewing room is my girl cave. Yep, I just told my, my husband I was going to my cave when I came up here. Um, he's going out. He's actually mowing the lawn. So, true story. Here it is the same week. Well, it's a new week now, but I mean, within the last seven days, it has snowed. And we have, and he's now mowing the lawn. So, that's Ohio. <laughs> that's the kind of weather we have. Um, which is why nobody can really get well. Because, you know, with allergies, it just wreaks havoc. It's like everything just sprouts and then gets dormant and then sprouts again and gets dormant again. Um, kind of hard. Uh, let's see. Oh, you don't know if Concord is new. Okay. It might, it might be, um, it might be an older one that I just don't remember, but okay. I'll have to look that up though. I will. Uh, hi, Jane. Nice to see you. Uh, Sally says, hi, I'm from the UK and just getting over coronavirus. It was awful, but we are no slowly on the mend. Thank you for their videos. You have kept me going. Oh, Sally. So glad to hear that you're on the mend. Wow. Uh, wow. So sorry that you had to go through that. Um, but so glad that you're able now to get on chat with us because, um, wow. Um, was, were you exposed at work or... Um, do you know where you got it or did you, was it just, you know, out in the public or, um, yeah, pretty, pretty scary stuff. And I've heard that the pain in your chest is horrible. Um, I've heard that from a couple people. Hi, Teresa. Hello from Virginia. She says, good to see you as well. Um, Kavita. Hi, Kim. Love following your vlog. I've been sewing scrubs for the, uh, NHS in the UK. Sewing is my sanctuary. Awesome. Thank you for doing those scrubs. They're real important. That's awesome. Um, Concord is an older boat neck tee. Okay, cool. I'll have to check that out. I love boat neck tees, and I very rarely make them. I, I have the Mandy boat, boat tee from um, Tasuti, I guess. Um, and it's a really nice pattern. Quick, quick, quick make. Um, Really, I like boat necks. Um, the only thing is the bra straps because they come over so far. But I learned a trick. Um, what I do is, I don't know if I, I don't have the right bra on to show you. I have, uh, on my bra straps, I sew the fuzzy part of Velcro, like about strip about that long, just along the strap. And then on my shirts that won't stay put, you know, that because the bra straps show, I actually put just one little teeny square right on the shoulder seam um, inside of the um, loop part. And then I just, you know, do it on both shoulders. And then I just see where it likes to sit. And I just push it down onto my bra and it doesn't move. So it's a pretty neat trick. And um, it works really well and it allows you to then wear those wider uh, necklines um, because they're problematic for me because I have really small neck and shoulders big everywhere else but small neck and shoulders and um, you know tops tend to um, even with a narrow sh shoulder adjustment just the styles tend to show my bra straps and um, yeah not a good look <laughs> uh, let's see Rebecca says, I gave my neighbor a bag full of fabric for mask making. She has no idea how much fabric quilters have. <laughs> oh, yes. I actually gave a good friend of mine has made, oh, she's probably made at least, probably at least 900 like, um, like she did. And um, I gave her a bag full of fabric. 
And believe it or not, right before all this happened, I don't know if you, if you go back in my videos, you remember I was making a lot of bathing suits. So I bought, and the box is still up here. It's not available right now, but I bought this box of elast uh, swimwear elastic from Amazon, and it's a quarter inch, and it's 75 yards. <laughs> so it's a lot of elastic. And um, I gave her, you know, a bunch of yards of elastic so she could um, work on her masks. And I kept enough for me for general sewing, and then I also had masks to make. So, um, yeah. Let's see. Kareen says, wonderful, um, wishing her a wonderful recovery. Um, thank you, Penny. Um, I, it is it is a good idea. I can't even remember where I heard, uh, figured that out from the Velcro trick with the wide necks, but it is a really good idea. Sally, take care of yourself. What an awful thing to endure. Yeah. Sally said, I caught it in a hospital visiting a 98-year-old friend. She sadly died, but that's where I got it. My chest was really bad as I am asthmatic. It was really scary. Oh, praise the Lord that you're okay. Oh, boy. Um, there but for the grace of God go I. Um, I have asthma, too, and that's why this thing scares me so bad. Um, I, um, yeah, I just, I, I'm not taking any chances. Um, I haven't been anywhere, really, except, you know, to people who have, like I said, haven't been anywhere either. Um, this week, though, we are going to get our worship team together and social distance, record some worship um, for our church. It's been kind of hard because a lot of people on the worship team are like me and have an underlying condition. Um, a lot of us are older, um, but even some of the younger people, one of the guys on our worship team, he's young in his 30s, but his wife has had open heart surgery. So, you know, I don't want him to be exposed either. So we... Um, and our pastor's son is a really bad diabetic. So um, we've been really, really careful about things at church. But um, this past week, we finally purchased a license to allow us to put our own music online. And um, so my husband and I just did the worship this week, um, which was nerve-wracking because... <laughs> I don't really, you know, I don't like to listen to myself. <laughs> That's what it boils down to. Um, but I, I feel better when I can hide behind our whole team. <laughs> um, even when I'm leading, it's still, you know, I, it, I'd still rather have the team. I can make them go up front and I can just stay back in the background. Um, but uh, we're just going to mark the stage six feet apart and make sure nobody gets any closer than that um, because it's going to be ongoing and, you know, um, people really, most of our team just really, really wants to do it. So I think we're going to do it this week and we'll see how that goes. Um, Bridget said, oh, oh Sally, how, how sad it sounds so frightening. Glad you're on the mend. Yeah, I agree. She says, thank you, Adrian and Sally. Glad you recovered. Lots of well wishes for Sally. And I add mine. I just hope you continue to heal. And um, yeah, there, there's got to be a silver lining in there. Um, something that you'll, you'll be used to help someone else or um, something will come of it. I just believe that whenever something bad happens, God uses it for good. Um, even though it's horrible, um, God can turn it into something that um, can be used to help someone else or something. I, I just believe that. So I just, that's my prayer for you, Sally, that you'll heal and get the needed rest and that somewhere down the line your story will help someone else. Uh, Dolores says, prayers for you and Sally. Uh, Leanne, hello from Ontario, Canada. Hello. Nice to see you, Leanne. She says, I'm listening while sewing on Mandy Boti. And we were just talking about that uh, for her 91-year-old mom in case I have to take her out of her retirement home if they get a case. Oh, I have that same issue. My mother-in-law is almost 91. And she's in a uh, assisted living. And um, 
yeah, we can't go see her. Um, they haven't had any there yet. Um, but yeah, we, you know, we've thought about what we're going to do if that happens. And I still don't know. Um, I still don't know. We don't have any downstairs bedrooms here, so I'm not really sure what we, what we'll do, but, um, we definitely, um, are worried about that too. So I can definitely understand. Um, Sam. Hi, Sam. Good to see you. She's in Yorkshire, UK. Um, is this a better time for you guys in the UK? I know um, Lynn said last week it was a bit late there, so I didn't want to... I m bumped it back. Excuse me. This is live, so, you know, <laughs> right after lunch. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, I bumped it back an hour, hoping that would help you guys. So let me know if this is an okay time for you guys. Um... His eye is on the sparrow, and I know he watches me. I keep saying that when I'm scared. So true. I love that song. Um, I just love that song. I don't know if you've ever heard Mahalia Jackson sing that, but my dad used to play that on our record player over and over and over when I was a kid. So I love that song. Um, Sally, I pray that people will be more tolerant and kind. Amen. That's so true. Hopefully this time has made people focus on things that are more important and, and things that are um, common instead of differences. Um, it's okay to have differences with people. I don't know when it became not okay to disagree because as long as I've been living, you know, with the way my parents brought me up was that, you know, other people might have a different opinion and that's okay. You can still love that person and respect that person for their views. I don't understand when it ever became not okay to disagree. Uh, hopefully that's uh, something that will happen that will be more tolerant and kind to each other, especially online. I think that there's just so much bullying that goes on online. Uh, let's see. Debbie says, filming is hard six feet apart. We do what we can. Yeah, that's, I know, I we haven't done it with the whole team yet, and I, I'm i a little nervous of how that's going to go. Um, but we'll do what we can, like you said. Lola, hi from Kitchener, Ontario. Hello, we got quite a few Canadians in here today. I love listening to your channel while sewing masks. Oh, that thank you for sewing those. That's awesome. Um Heidi, hello, good to see you. Just joining, it's cold and rainy here in Connecticut. Awesome. Um, I mean, not awesome that it's cold and rainy, but if we didn't have the cold and rainy days, we wouldn't, we wouldn't be able to understand how great the warm and sunny days are. <laughs> I'm trying to look at the bright side here. <laughs> um, the Olsen mask. I don't know. Uh, I've heard just that mentioned and I saw a video, but didn't, I mean, I saw it, you know, came up on my feed, but I haven't watched it yet. Um, anybody know anything about the Olsen mask? I have not, um, you know, I only, this is the only pattern I've made and this is just the one that our local hospital was sending out. Um, so uh, let me know if you've used the Olsen mask pattern and how you like it. I'm concerned about the ones with filters, I'll be honest, because you gotta be careful what you put in those filters. Um, people are putting some things that scare me like, um, uh, uh, furnace filters they have fiberglass in them so yeah be careful and I've even heard the HEPA vacuum bags can have some toxicity um, just make sure you check it out I guess before you put something that is going to be front and center where you breathe uh, I think you got to be really careful uh, Susan perfect timing for me from Monterey California it's sunny and it's 65 degrees outside I love his eyes on the sparrow I do too I love that song Caroline yes absolutely Kim about tolerance yep I so agree uh, Libby says I listened to your church link today it was lovely to have worship time with you oh now I'm embarrassed <laughs> because it was not my best singing effort <laughs> but I you know do what you can <laughs> But thank you for listening. And um, worship is worship is just a wonderful thing. Um, that's what we were created for. And um, that's my, it even, it's even above sewing because God is above everything. And, um, and I'm a musician from a long, long time ago. And um, 
So worship is a very important thing to me. Uh, I actually have my degree in worship arts and leadership, so um, that uh, that's a definitely a big part of my life. Teresa said, I looked at Elastic on Amazon. Everything's taking four to eight weeks. Has anyone looked on Etsy? Is it more available? I, I, actually, they do have some on Etsy because I just ordered some for underwear. It was like the one-inch stuff, but um, in that Etsy shop, I noticed that she had some and a lot of the other shops did too. Um, and I also um, saw that Girl Charlie sent me an email today, and they have... Uh, 3 8 inch white and black elastic. Um, so if you hop in there really quick, because the last time they did that, I sent the link to a friend of mine. It's already gone. So if you think you might want some, get in there today, because I think it was pretty cheap too, because they have really good prices. Um, uh, Penny says, when I purchased from Etsy, it came from Hong Kong and took a month. Oh, that's disappointing. Plus the quality wasn't the best. That's disappointing. I had good good experience from Etsy. Um, I uh, the name of the shop was Lace and Trims, and it came from California, and it came very fast from California to Ohio, way sooner than I expected. Um, I I'll go I'll go out and get that link and put it in here for you, uh, for that shop. Bridget said I've made a bunch of masks using the pattern Mimi G put online. Yeah, that one is similar to this one, I think. Um, Nice pattern, but it found it a bit choky. Oh, that's not good. You don't want to, that, that can't wear that all day if it makes you feel that way. Uh, Rebecca, I've heard that using non woven interfacing makes the mask more effective. I've heard that too. Um, I don't know about the glue though, so you might not want to get the fusible. I don't know. I, I See, I'd just be leery. I'd want to check it out. Um, I don't know if they've really had the time to test all that stuff. Um, I think if I used interfacing, I probably wouldn't use a fusible. Just, just my thing. Um, using very light, lightweight Pellon from my stash. Um, Roseanne, hi from Guyana. Hello, nice to see you on here. I think this is probably the furthest away that we had. So, welcome. Oh. Heidi says, I ordered from the same Etsy shop you did and got Pico and fold over elastic and it's already on its way from California. Yeah, she's really good, that lady. I It's called Lace and Trims, I think. Um, Caroline got hers from Etsy in a day. It was elastic by the yard shop. Okay, good good to know. Uh, Lola said, my hubby and I went for deck visit to see our five-month-old grandbaby. She recognized us from FaceTime. Aw, that's awesome. Joanne says, I put the interfacing in the ones I made for a washable filter. Good. Yeah, I think that's probably the safest thing I've heard of to put in them for a filter. Um, to be honest, I mean, I don't think the main reason to wear it is for you to protect other people in case you're, you know, symptomatic or asymptomatic carrier. Um, it's not really going to protect you, no matter really what you put in here, because only an N95 will really protect you. Even a, even a surgical mask doesn't really protect you from it completely. Um, but um, it's better than nothing, I think. And then the CDC, you know, I think the recommendation is that if everybody wore them, they'd be great protection, because none of us would be breathing and coughing on each other. So, like, I wear mine to protect you, and you wear yours to protect me. Um, and that will work if everybody does it. So, okay, let's see. Thanks, Kim, and everybody, too. Um, sorry, Kim, neglected to say hello. I'm Sugarland. Oh, that's my old stomping grounds, Rebecca. I lived in Conroe for, for many years. Um, back when my children were born. My children were born at Doctor's Hospital in Conroe a <laughs> long time ago. I used to work down in uh, Methodist Hospital in the um, Open Heart Surgery Recovery Unit for many years. <laughs> so good to see somebody from the Houston area. Well, sort of close to Houston anyway. Um, Mid-80s today. I love Houston this time of year. Oh, yeah, such a nice place to live. I miss it. I miss Texas so much. Um, yeah, you can take the girl out of Texas, but you can't take Texas out of the girl. 
Uh, let's see. Um, Libby, the link was on one of the earlier videos. Yeah, I think I did. I think I went back in and put it um, in after last week's chat the, for the lace and trims. Um, Carol says, just joining. Hello from Illinois. Hi, Carol. Nice to see you. Thanks for coming in. Alice says, Rebecca, she's in Missouri City. Oh, wow. Lots of Texas people. Um, Kim H., hello from Philly. I'm working on a laundry day tea and maybe a Melody Dolman while I'm listening. Awesome. I, that, those are two of my very favorite patterns. Um, I love the Melody Dolman. Um, I was just thinking about maybe making a couple more of those, you know, this spring and summer. Um, Adrian says, can you share your worship link again with us? Sure, I, I, I'll post it here. Um, Mary says, hello from Oregon. Thanks for hosting us today. Well, you're very welcome, and thanks for coming in. Um, Bonnie says, hello from Vancouver. A lot of people from Canada. So are you in the Pacific time zone? So you'll be the same as California? Um, hopefully it, the timing works out good for you. Roseanne says, they have asked us to wear a mask here. And some businesses won't let you in if you don't have one. I've been sewing the Olsen, I think, for anyone that wants. Cool. Um, how do you find that Olsen pattern? Because it does look really nice. Um, is it easy? Is it uh, um, Give us your opinion on that pattern. Um, is it worth downloading it and maybe switching um, from what we're already doing? Now, these fit me really well, though, I will say. There's no, no gap whatsoever. So I like that about them, but because um, I know the surgical masks when I when I was working in the hospitals, you know, we'd have to wear them 12 hours a day. That paper's so hot, and um, it would just it would just be so hard to breathe sometimes through them. So um, we I never wore an an N95 because in surgery we were mostly wearing them to protect the patients instead of to be protected from the patients. So. Texas forever. Amen to that. I love Texas. Um, Penny says, I was born in Ohio, but lived most of my life in Fort Worth. Still a TCU girl. Oh, wow. My, uh, my old neighbor in Texas was a TCU girl. <laughs> and she wore every piece of clothing she had said something about TCU. Love it. Um, I kind of like the Aggies myself. <laughs> my nieces all went to um, Texas A&M, so I kind of like the Aggies. Uh, uh, MB Shanley, hi from Denver. Oh, wow, I haven't had anybody from Denver in a while. Nice to see you. Uh, she says, rare cloudy day here, but we're headed into the 80s this week, working on a Blackwood cardigan. I love the Blackwood. Um, yeah, that's a tried and true for me. I have bunches of them, <laughs> and they're just, they're so great. Um, the only thing is I wish that it came closed in the front, you know, uh, a little bit more. Um, I love the way it looks, though, because it, it doesn't, you know, it, it falls nice, uh, it kind of, and, you know, your top that you're wearing underneath shows, and it's nice, but um, when you're really cold, it'd be nice to be able to kind of wrap up yourself up in it, but can't have everything. <laughs> um, Anessa said, I'm in northwestern Ontario, Canada, and it's a good time for me as it's 3.15 between lunch and supper. Yeah, that's kind of, for me, too, it's a good time, um, but I'm more worried about, you know, I can adjust my meals. It doesn't matter. I, you know, but um, I just want it to be a good time for most people um, because I really enjoyed it last week and I'm enjoying it today and I'd like to kind of make it a regular thing. Um, so tell me how often do you think is, is weekly too much or every other week or monthly or what do you think um, for, uh, you know, frequency? Um, let me know if you didn't. I mean, I thought maybe while we're in isolation, it might be a little more often so that you know we can connect with the outside world a little more um, but let me know what you think because um, I really have enjoyed it um, I really enjoyed uh, last week very much I was very pleasantly surprised I thought I'd be way more nervous than I was you guys put me right at ease and um, believe it or not it's a little nerve-wracking to get on camera and um, and I grew up like you know in theater a little bit you know I did some um, community theater you know, when I was uh, studying music and stuff. And <laughs> I can act and pretend to be someone else and get up on the stage. Or I can get up on the stage and sing, but Lordy, don't ask me to talk <laughs> about myself. <laughs> so, um, 
Yeah, so this is stretching me a little bit, you know, because my videos that are planned and recorded, they're, they're um, I'm pretty much off the cuff, but I do have a bullet list in front of me. So, um, you know, and I do, a, if you notice, I do a lot of stopping and starting and try to edit out my ums and, oh, I've had some really bad bloopers, you guys. If you saw them, you'd just freak out. <laughs> some of them just really funny but um, I thought about putting them into a nice long string of video <laughs> but um, yeah there was one day when I couldn't say pussy bow blouse to save my life and I'm not going to tell you what I kept saying but it was horrible and I just ended up cracking up so yeah that was not pretty <laughs> oh anyway um, have you done, okay, oh, Penny's in, in I'm trying to catch up here. <laughs> Hi, Anessa, nice to see you. You're in um, Ontario, Canada, cool. Wow, I didn't know that's where you were. That's not that far from me, actually, being in Toledo, um, a couple hours by train um, if I go up to Detroit. Um, Jane, Penny did a video on, oh, oh, you did, Penny. I'll have to check that out. I, it's been a while since I've, like, watched any videos Sorry about that, but I've been like, this past week, we made a major shift in how we're doing our church online. And since I'm the director of all the music and worship, I um, was pretty busy trying to figure all that out. Um, so I haven't really been able to watch a whole lot of videos. Um, so, but I'm gonna go watch that one for sure. Um, Penny, yeah, thank you, Penny, for doing that. I'm gonna go check that out. Go Frogs, our Frogs, a team from Denver or where's that from? <laughs> no, the Olsen is easy, fits well and completely finished. Okay, cool, nice. Um, have you done side seam pockets on the Blackwood? I haven't, but you know, that would be really easy to do. Um, yeah, I don't like the patch pockets because you know, knits just are too flimsy. I don't know, it's just me. Maybe it's just my weirdness, but I just think that the, they just hang funny with knits um makes me think they might rip over time or something just a thing with me i guess but a lot of people put put the patch pockets on and they're fine so uh let's see hello kim from upstate new york hello crystal uh, my uh daughter-in-law finished uh her first round of bracelets and she just ordered her packaging and I, she's supposed to get that on the around the fourth or fifth, and then I'm going to send that bracelet out to you. And it's very pretty. Um, I think they're they're just wonderful. And she made these beautiful cards with the whole story about the bee. Um, and I could have sent the the bracelet ahead without that packaging, but I think you probably would appreciate it. So I'm going to wait, unless you want me to just go ahead and send it. You can let me know here if you want if you want me to send it without the packaging. I can. Uh, Mary Ellen, hi from North Carolina. Hello, nice to see you, Mary Ellen. Um, weekly is great. We all need company. Yeah, that's kind of what I think right now for sure. But um, you know, if, I don't want to, you know, make you guys tired of me. <laughs> so <laughs> um, let's see. Agreed on the blackwood. Thinking of maybe doubling the width of the band. Yeah, I've heard other people have done that and then kind of flipped it over, um, kind of as a wrap collar, uh, like a shawl kind of thing. You could do that probably easily. Um, the Chapman cardigan from Ellie and Mac, I think goes a little more closed and is a similar style. So um, that's another idea too. Um, and the pockets are actually built into the band seam. They have a little bit more stability, I think, than just the patch pockets. Uh, okay, let's see. Heidi, good, thank you. Um, Rebecca says, later today I'm going to learn how to use PDF plotting to print my Love Notions patterns for me. Yeah, I, I just haven't done that yet. Um, let me know how it is. I'm tempted because um, it does get time consuming, but I don't know. I'm just kind of a spontaneous, uh, I'd, I'd hate having to wait for them. Um, <laughs> just, I'm just bad. Um, so I just end up printing them and taping them together. Um, I don't know. Uh, I'm also cheap, <laughs> so it's just uh, very expensive to have them printed. Let me know how the how the cost um, comparison is. Um, 
uh, so far printing them on my home printer. I bought a really cheap little printer that does really well with ink and um, I have had pretty good luck um, with it and yeah that's what I end up doing but um, you know sometimes you know and I want to sew and then I end up having to spend the night putting together patterns it's kind of does get kind of old but you know I guess it's a first world problem right <laughs> Um, but let me know what, how, you, how you like the PDF plotting. My husband's an engineer and he prints blueprints all the time at work, but I um, have not asked him to do it because I just don't want him to get in trouble at work or, you know, it's a fine line. So I, I could ask him, I could see if there's a way we could pay for them, but um, I just think it's better if we don't because I wouldn't want it, you know, I just, I wouldn't want to intrude on his job or anything. Um, let's see. Uh, P. Franklin, hi from Berlin, Germany. Hi, nice to see you. Welcome. Renee says, hello, is it possible to do a demo of my body model? Yes, I, um, I've gotten a few uh, requests for that, so I'm going to do that in an upcoming video. I'm actually going to show you how I took the what they sent me and turned it into the um, model that I made for myself with hair. Like I have one version that has jeans on so that I can just do tops. And then I have um, a version that, you know, is the whole full length dress, you know, for dresses and stuff. And um, I also have just like waist down so I can just do pants or whatever. So um, yeah, I think I'll show that to you on a video. Thank you, Rebecca. That's really sweet of you to say. Um, thank you, Anessa. Uh, let's see. Karen says, hello from hot Tucson. Working on her third pair of ginger jeans, Capri. Oh, good. Because <laughs> it's pretty hot for you to wear full-length jeans right now. God bless you and your family. Thank you so much. Um, I love Arizona. My nephew actually just moved from Arizona to Texas. And he was in the Phoenix area, and they loved it there. But um, I think he he moved to be closer to my brother and um, his mom. So, okay. Thank you, Roseanne. Thank you, Rebecca. Oh, Penny says the TCU is the horn frogs. I did not know that. I mean, or at least I forgot because it has been. Well, see, my my son is thirty, almost thirty eight. <laughs> And he was a baby when we lived there. So that tells you why I don't remember that because that was a really long time ago. Um, can I go up to the northwest, northwestern part furthest from you? Closest, closest U.S. town to me is Duluth. Oh, okay, so you're a little further, further west than, um, than Detroit. Hi, Valerie. Saugatuck, Michigan. Well, I know where that is, right up the road. How nice to see you. Um, yes, yeah, Saugatuck is up uh, by Frankenmuth. Am I right? Sort of in between here and Frankenmuth? Or do I have that wrong? I'd have to go look at a map because I don't remember. <laughs> um, so good that there's an international chat group today. It's great to know that the Sewing Sisterhood is universal. Amen to that. I love my sewing sisters and you know what I just don't have very many here I have one um, really good friend subscriber um, I met her through the, my channel but she actually lives in Sylvania which is um, another neighboring suburb and you know we've gotten together for coffee and stuff and um, it's really nice to have somebody local but without the channel I probably never would have met her <laughs> I don't know if she's in here today but Kathy if she's here hi <laughs> um, let's see uh, thank you, Dorothy. Um, Adrian says PDF plotting does a super job, quick and not over expensive. Like, about how much do you end up having to pay for that? I, I've heard it's like per page, or um, it's been a while since I looked into it, and I thought it was really pricey when I did. But maybe, maybe it's not as bad. I don't know. Um, Sam says taking a break from making scrubs. Um, making Simplicity 1777, a vintage 
dress inspired by last week's Great British Sewing Bee. Oh, I'm so jealous. I want to watch the Sewing Bee so bad, and we just don't have any way to watch it here. Um, not even the BBC um, channels that we can get here could have it, and it just it frustrates me because I hear everybody talking about it. And, um, there's we can watch the old ones, but not the current ones. So yeah, but you'll have to let us live vicariously through you. Um, I'd love to see your make, Sam, because I love vintage dresses. Um, love Notions patterns make is super easy to print and tape. That's true. Very true. They're very easy. Um, there's no, no trimming. And Ellie and Mac is the same way. Maybe that's one of the reasons why those two companies are my favorites. Um, but yeah, they, they're, it's very quick because you don't have to cut. Um, like seam work, you have to cut them out a little bit. Um, but I just trim like, you know, the two sides that join and then the next one, the two sides that join. Um, as I go and instead of you know cutting all four sides of every one you don't have to do that you can just print the where the joins are all the way okay Paprina hello from Mediterranean on lockdown oh, everywhere it's on lockdown I'm so sorry to hear that you're going through that too um, what part of the Mediterranean are you in are you on an island or um, wonderful that's a beautiful area to live for sure um, about a dollar thirty-five per page. Well, that's not too bad. That's that's pretty good actually. And then, what is the shipping on the PDF plotting? Good to know. Crystal says she's so excited to see her bracelet. Would rather wait till she's ready. I've been sharing the story of your mom and the story of the bee. Yeah, it is a great story. I it, yeah, it, it has brought me through a lot of things. And right now, with everything that's going on, is a great time for my daughter-in-law to share it, too. Um, yeah. Mary Dieter, I'm spontaneous, too, Kim. I like instant gratification of buying a pattern on a whim and printing it right away. Has anyone here started using projector patterns? No, but I want to. Um, I have a projector, too, that probably would work. Um, because I, you know, I had my photography business, so I had a projector for presentations. Um, but I just have to figure out where to mount it in here. I have a ceiling fan, so I'd have to come away from the fan. I don't know. Um, this is a small room. It, 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 um, it's not as spacious as it might look, but it's pretty small. And um, I have, like, it, every wall space has something on it. So um, I'd have to... I know it'd have to be ceiling mounted, but I'd have to have the table right under it, and that's where the complication gets because you have to have it point straight down at the table and not move either one. So, um, yeah, I don't know. I, I'd really like to do it, though. Um, let's see. Jan says, hello from Virginia, heading to Ohio on Tuesday for a new grandbaby. Aw, Congratulations. I, uh, is it your first or um, doesn't matter because everyone is special. Every single one of my grandchildren were like the first to me. Oh, that's congratulations. Leanne's is a question. What's best, serging sleeves on top or bottom? I always forget. Oh, okay. Um, I usually will put the sleeve. If you, if you want it to go together, what I've always heard is you do... The longest piece on the bottom or, sorry I had that wrong the longest piece on the top <laughs> because the feed dogs will help the is that right or did I say that backwards I think the longest piece goes on top so what you want is you want the um, sleeve to be on top so that you can did I say that backwards I'm doubting myself. <laughs> See, I'm human too, just like everybody else. Um, yeah, it does make anybody. Can anybody help me out here? Because I'm having a old timer moment. <laughs> um, but I think the long. I think it's the longest piece goes on the bottom because the feed dogs um, will feed that evenly, and then you can um, you can gently stretch the other part. So you want to put the um, you want to put the um, the sleeve on the bottom, I think. 
Um, Teresa, hey Jan, I'm Virginia too. What town are you in? Um, congrats, Jan. Yeah. Uh, oh, they are exciting. They, uh, Valerie says, Saugatuck is near Lake Michigan, west side of the state, near Holland. Okay. Yeah, so I've gone, where I've gone through there then is going to see, um, I've been to um, the dunes, um, and then also Jackson and Grand Rapids area, some family there. So um, I, that's probably when I've gone through there. Uh, Valerie says, okay. Jan says, I, I have quilting friends, but not garment makers. This is great support and fellowship. Agreed. Uh, most I have some other quilting friends, but I don't quilt very much. So um, I've just done a few, and it's not my main thing. Garments are my main thing. Um, I like doing quilts a little bit, but it, it would never be my, you know, I'd never be like a true quilter because they just do amazing things. And I like clothes, so I like the challenge of fit. I love the challenge of fitting things. Um, let's see. Leanne says the children have here decorate stones and leave them on the side of sidewalks for people to enjoy. Oh, that's really sweet. Um, <clears throat> oh, Sam says she'll do a video of the finished dress. Good, uh, Sam. Thank you. I, I'm going to go check that out when you do that for sure. I, I still have on my list to go watch um, what you've got there so far. Um, I, and like you said, in the, and I believe it was you who emailed me and asked me to talk about the process. And I was going to try maybe to do that today a little bit for you as well. Um, Leanne said, the children here decorate. Oh, I, I already said that. Sorry. <laughs> I'm trying to not miss anybody's comment here. Um, Roseanne says, where I live in Guyana, to point the large plotter works out to be about $16 per page, so I print at home. Yeah, that's really expensive. I would, too, for sure. Um, I don't have many sewing friends. Yeah, I am in the same boat, really, even though I'm here in the U.S. in the middle of a whole lot of people who sew. We just There's just not any like place to get together. There's no great stores right here. It's just... Joann's and Hobby Lobby, a few things at Walmart, you know, so it's not, there's no real organizations. The quilters have, uh, you know, organizations, but the garment sewers, there just really isn't any. Um, let's see. Adrian, shipping's not high. I batch my patterns to send maybe $4.99 or so. Yeah, that's good. I, I could probably do that. Hi, Alicia. Good to see you. I'm glad you can make it this time. Uh, Alicia's a Texas girl, too. She's in San Antonio, because I'm going to go visit her one of these days when I go back down to see my brother. Um, yeah, <laughs> I love, I can't wait to do the projector patterns, but um, yeah, it might be a while, because I have this long list of things I want for my sewing room. So I have to, you know, I have to prioritize. <laughs> Um, I'm sort of a natural geek. I love like technology and equipment and stuff. So yeah, <laughs> I, I hate it and I love it. I hate figuring it out. But once I figure it out, I love using it. So, um, oh, it's your third grandson. Awesome. Congratulations. Did they give, what name did they give him? Um, Deborah, I think it's the bottle. Okay. I, I I probably lost something somewhere. I'm sorry. I, um, I'll probably go back and figure out what it is. Or maybe, <laughs> I don't know. Um, Karen, oh, it's $12 a per sheet in Barbados. That's a lot. Um, oh, bottom, that makes more sense. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Longest piece on the bottom. Yeah. So then my first thought was right, and then I was questioning myself, but yeah, it's because the feed dogs can help that, and then the, the top piece you can stretch. Yeah, thank you, guys, because I just, I just had a, you know what, <laughs> most difficult fabric on the bottom. That's another way to put it, too. Um, Uh, okay, let's see. Decorating stones, so sweet. We've got, in our neighborhood, everybody has bears in the window, and the kids go on bear hunts, and they go see how many bears they can find in the neighborhood. It's really cute. Um, I don't have a bear, so I have this giant Mickey Mouse, 
um, in the, my front window for them. <laughs> and uh, I, I haven't taken him down because I think he's really cute there. So, <laughs> um, Heather's in Columbus. Oh, hi, Heather. Nice to see you. You're a, a Ohio girl like me. Um, we're in this together, Ohio, right? <laughs> Um, do you have wine with DeWine every day at two? <laughs> I, I've been watching him pretty much every day because he's really calming. I, I, I find, you know, our governor has been just a calming presence. He, you know, every day he and the, the Dr. Amy get online and give the update about the COVID situation and they just calm fears. And it's really, I just have found it to be a really calming thing to do, to watch them. So uh, this week I didn't watch him as much as I had in the past because it kind of gets to be the same thing. But um, it is, it's, it, I'm proud to be from Ohio right now for sure. All right. <clears throat> okay, Sam, I'll do that in just a minute. Thank you. Um, Joey says, I, I made it finally. I love projector sewing. Oh, I just, I really need to think of, I watched a video on it and I was just mesmerized. I just, I need to do that probably. It would save a lot of money for sure. Um, Teresa, I'm on the opposite end of the state, uh, southwest tip of Virginia. Uh, it's really, boy, there's, we just have people from everywhere. Sandy says, you could start a chapter of the American Sewing Guild. I've made m many new friends from the guild after moving to Las Vegas. Oh, that's cool. I never thought about that, but maybe I'll look into that. On my, I need uh, another thing to do, don't I? <laughs> Maybe somebody could start a chapter. <laughs> I'm between my stuff I do for church and this channel and being a grandma. Um, not in that order. <laughs> um, I, it's, it's, I'm a pretty busy girl. It doesn't, you know, retirement has not been, not been uh, sedentary for me too much. Oh, you're close to Hilliard. Cool. My um, daughter used to live in Pickerington. Um, so right around the corner from you guys. Okay. Eileen's in London. Nice to see you. Um, Jane says it's 80 degrees in Alvarado, Texas, 30 miles south of Fort Worth. Oh, that's a beautiful area. Yeah, I, I'm jealous. <laughs> This one was held for reunion, but I don't know why, so I'm approving it. Alicia said, please come visit me. I will. I will come visit you next time I go see my brother, and that'll be whenever they let up the restrictions, and I feel like it's safe to fly. Hi, Kim. What made you decide to start a channel? I really enjoy listening while I sew. Kitchener, Ontario. Thanks, Lola. I'm going to talk about my channel here in just a minute, Why? what made me start it, and like sort of a little bit of the process because I did get a really nice email from Sam asking me to do that. Um, Heather McCormick, we sure are. Yep, I am very proud of him. Jan says, hi, my daughter has told me about that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, he is doing such a great job. And Amy Acton, yes, they are amazing. I, yeah, I, I can't say enough good about our governor right now. I'm very proud to be from him, from Ohio. San Antonio weather is great. Yeah, I was talking to my brother last night, and he was telling me that the weather's been good, and um, they, of course, haven't been out in it very much, but it's been good. Um, Lola's going to try a PDF pattern from Ellie and Mac. Yeah, what? which pattern? Do you know which pattern you're going to try? Um, I, uh, I love them. I just love their patterns. Um, so Lele Bells, I like that. Um, hello from the UK. Hi, nice to meet you. Glad you could be here. Rebecca sews, sews garments to age, sewed garments to age 45. I became a quilter because I love to sew and wasn't great on fitting. Thanks to the internet, I've learned to fit. Now I'm working more on clothes for myself. I'm 70. Hey, well, that's wonderful. I'm 62, so I'm not far behind you. <laughs> um, yeah. I can't, I say that, and even as I say that, I don't believe it, but pretty soon, 
Um, I'm a little worried about what I'm going to look like on video pretty soon because uh, I can't, can't go to the salon. <laughs> and, but we're all going to be in the same boat, I guess. So um, Heather says, I'll look, in, I'll look into that for Ohio once my semester is over in two days. I'm free as a bird as my mobile food concessions business won't be going to any art shows anytime soon. Uh, that'd be a very hard time to have that kind of business. I pray that um, it stays intact for you for when this is over, though. Um, many, um, many people are struggling, and I, that, I don't want to take that lightly. And as much as I enjoy being home, I really do, um, but there's a lot of people whose businesses are really hurting. And um, my husband has gone through several layoffs um, in his career, and he's an engineer. And you, you used to think that that was a stable um, profession. Um, but when you get into consulting, they hire, and then when that, you know, big contract falls through, then they, you know, ease up and, you know, he got into middle, middle management and, you know, that's always the first positions to go because they're extra fluff. And, um, but he's in a really good company now and I feel like he's more secure than he's been in a long time. So, um, so far, so good. <laughs> but it's always something that I have in the back of my mind. And um, I just sympathize with anyone going through that right now because I know what it feels like um, to not know, you know, from one day to the next what's going to happen. So, um, yeah, definitely pray for your con food concession business. Um, hopefully, you know, the art shows will pick up again and you'll be able to get some um, business flowing again. Um, so you guys asked me how and why I started my channel. Well, I started my channel because I watched so many and I just loved it. And one day I was like, I could do that. You know, I don't know. It was kind of a whim and I don't even really know what made me think of it. But I had um, retired from my photography business. I, I For 19 years, I photographed weddings and I one day, it was actually the night before the our presidential election last time, I fell down the stairs as I'm laying down, as I'm laying at the bottom of the steps. My first thought was, I'm glad I early voted, <laughs> which is so stupid because, you know, there was way more wrong than that. And um, at first it was the, just a knee, uh, era, yeah, a knee strain. And um, they but they couldn't get me up off the, my husband couldn't get me into the car. So they called an ambulance and I went to the ER and they diagnosed it as a strain and they sent me home with crutches to rest and ice and everything. And then um, a couple days later, I got a call from my um, family doctor saying that I should go see an orthopedic surgeon because I had um, something going on with my tendon, my quadriceps tendon. And so I went to the orthopedic surgeon who told me it was a um, partial tear and that I would need to be in a brace for eight weeks and do extensive physical therapy, but I would, I would make a full recovery. Well, that recovery never happened. Um, it just kept getting worse. And um, it would re-tear and re-tear and re-tear. And so I finally went and got another opinion. And um, that doctor did surgery immediately because it was a complete tear. But that injury is supposed to be fixed within 72 hours. So unfortunately, I had bad medical care. And I did not get it all back at all. I can't do steps the normal way and I can't walk on uneven surfaces very well. So, um, you know, it's livable, but it, I can't do weddings because I can't move fast enough. So I gave up my photography business and I was kind of looking for something to do because I'm just not a person who can sit still. So I was watching a lot of sewing videos and I, you know, up here sewing and watching them and I just thought, you know, I wonder if I could do that. So I told my husband, I said, you know, I'll do that if you buy me a new iPhone with a good camera. And if you, um, if I can find editing software that isn't like super complicated, if I can do it all on my iPad, I'll do it. So I just put one up to see what would happen. And 
you know, I loved it. I had so much fun. I had positive feedback and then um, time went by and the channel grew and I said, oh, I just can't wait to get to 100. And when I got to 100, it was like amazing. And then um, my goal was to get to 1,000 by the end of the first year and I hit 4,000 almost a week after my first year. So it's kind of gotten you know, way better than I ever thought it would be. And, um, yeah, it's a God thing. It's filled a huge void in my life, um, that it used to be, you know, consumed with, you know, going out to the parks and shooting, you know, every day. And I can't do that anymore. So, um, yeah, it's, it's, uh, definitely filled that void. So it's a godsend for me. And um, my process, I use my iPhone 10, and um, it's got a better camera than any of the video on any of the cameras I have. And I have professional level um, Nikon equipment and that do have video, but the iPhone video is better and much easier to get into my um, computer and iPad and everything. So I... Um, I shoot it on my iPhone. I um, jump it over to my iPad with um, Air AirDrop, <clears throat> and then I use I used to use Adobe Rush because I still have all the Adobe Creative Suite, you know, from years of photography, and I I'll always keep that because I love doing that kind of stuff. And um, I used I liked Rush, um, and I I can use Adobe Premiere if I get on a computer. But I just really I spent so many years editing photos that I just didn't want to do that again. So um, and I, you know I want, knew I wanted to do a business with sewing, but I really just didn't want another having to fill orders for customers again because I did that for so many years. I wanted to be creative on my terms, you know. And this doing a channel does do that for me because I can you know, take it whatever direction, you know, whatever I want to sew, I can just do a video about that. So, I mean, you know, I try to see what other people like and, but that there's joy in that for me. So, um, but it's not anything like if I miss a day, you know, I don't get way behind and, you know, things like that. So, um, I, um, so I put it into, I, I just started using about a month ago, this program called Video Leap. And it's an iPad app, and I think it's available for Android too. And it was only like twenty dollars. I mean, it's really inexpensive, but it's a very powerful little app. And um, I do all my editing um, on there. And um, I use um, I don't use any extra lighting because I love God's light. I always have. Um, I I was a natural light photographer for the most part. And um, I prefer to use God's light, although I will in some cer certain situations add some light and I have all that available to me. But um, I'm trying to just keep this simple because I know if it's simple, then I'll do it. Um, if it's really complicated set up, you know, I, I wouldn't do it maybe as often. So I try to keep it really simple. Um, but I did um, just recently, I purchased the Rode Wireless Go microphone system, and they're just these, there's two of these little squares. And this is the transmitter, and then the receiver is over on the tripod with my phone. It plugs right into my phone, and it's a microphone, and it's much better audio than I had. Excuse me. So sorry. Live. <laughs> um, it's much better um, audio than what I've had in the past. So um, that's really it. I have didn't really buy a lot of stuff. Um, you know, I was going to get a new phone anyway, so um, that's just what uh, I ended up doing. So, um, yeah, so that's my setup pretty much. And um, I haven't really invested in another camera, although I think I will eventually. Um, maybe invest in one that has a Wi-Fi um, capability um, that I can use, um, you know, for another angle or whatever. Um, and then, you know, I just, I have the greatest tripod, you know, from my wedding business ever. So, I mean, it just goes way up and points down over the table when I need it to. I can, you know, get it really close to my sewing machine when I need it to. So I just didn't really have a lot of expenses or anything to starting it. So I hope that helps a little bit. If you have specific questions, you know, feel free to ask and I'll, 
um, help you out. The microphone system that I bought was about 217, I think, with everything, with the cords I needed and the, um, it's like a U, it's like a tripod mount um, that allows for the receiver to sit on top that I had to buy extra. Um, but it was a little over, under $250, whatever. So, hope that helps a little bit. I'm going to go back now and see because I haven't looked here in a few minutes. All right, let's see. Okay, Lola, I hope that answered your question. Um, hello, Elizabeth from Sweden. Nice to see you on. Um... We should all have a fun plan for when it's safe again. Me, I'm going to that fabric warehouse in San Antonio. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> I didn't even know it was there till you showed us. Oh, I can't wait to go again. Oh, I, that's always a trip I make when I go visit my brother. So I'll meet you there. Uh, we'll meet Alicia um, and you and I, and we'll we'll go we'll meet there and go for coffee after. It's not not in the greatest neighborhood, so we'll go to another neighborhood and have coffee. <laughs> uh, let's see. Lily said, fun plan. Sounds like a really great idea. I think I need one of those. I hope to make it to Zinks near Lancaster. Yeah, they have one up in Pennsylvania, too. Yeah. Um, I just was telling my husband I need to buy um, that fabric for the birthdays. We have lots of May birthdays. I said I wish I could make a trip to Zinks in Indiana because it would be so much cheaper than ordering online. I'm placing a big order to Girl Charlie probably this weekend later. Uh, hi, Leveda. Nice to see you on here. Thank you, Adrian. I appreciate that. Yeah, weren't weren't Levinda or Levita's? Oh, sorry, I can't talk today. Weren't Levita's um, uh, tops that she showed adorable? I just thought they were so cute. That one with the bow in the back. I just need that pattern for sure. This iPad's about to die. So uh, let's see. Mary, did that answer your question that I use Video Leap? Um, and it's in the App Store. And I think it's probably in the Google Play Store, too. Um, so sorry to hear about your accident. Yeah, it was a hard time for me, but um, God is good. <laughs> Definitely. Uh, Jenny says, thank you, Kim, from Australia. Bridget says, you make it look effortless. I, you know, it's not really that hard if you just be yourself. I, you know, um, I think if you try to be something that you're not, then it just becomes a job. And for me, it's just better to just be myself. So um, it, I make mistakes, but, you know, it just, we're all in this together. So, you know, you show me one person who has never made a mistake. And uh, if you saw my bloopers you would laugh your head off at me and say I was the weirdest person ever uh, Jenny says thank you Kim from Australia thank, nice to see you Jenny thank you thank you Bridget that's really nice of you to say Sam said good to know that you're doing it on limited resources thank you. yeah you don't really need to buy a lot of stuff um, I found that even with photography I used to have these interns and they would be all like I don't know if you know the term if I say it, you'll probably understand. There's gearheads, you know, and even in photography, you know, it's not about the camera. It's about seeing. It's about, you know, um, it's about it's about art. You know, it's not really about what kind of camera you have. You can use any camera. You can use an iPhone and take a gorgeous photograph. So, um, you know, I always used to challenge my interns to stop thinking about, you know, whether it's Canon or Nikon or this lens or that lens. Yeah, you need those and you want those. But, you know, if you keep it simple, if you keep like what you're doing, like natural to you, like driving a car, that's that you don't even have to think about the equipment then and then and then you can just be creative. And that's kind of how I approach that's how I always approached photography. I mean, I could just do this on my camera and not even look. Um, and just, you know, be on the spot creative. And, you know, I was, you know, fairly good at it. I mean, a lot of people thought so, I guess. But um, I miss it. But, you know, God gave me something else. So um, 
that really has filled a big void in my life to do this channel. Um, thank you, Mary Ellen. That's really nice of you to say. Um, thank you, Sam. Mary Jane, hi, Dorothy. <laughs> I'm Kim. Dorothy's my mom, but thank you. <laughs> That's a compliment if you call me Dorothy because she was an amazing person. Um, she tuned in late and was wondering, where can I watch a video on projector patterns? Um, I watched one on Ellie and Mac's channel. I can't remember how far back it was. Not that far because they haven't been around that long. Maybe a month or so ago back, they had a video where somebody demonstrated projector patterns. Um, I'll try and find that link for you maybe and put it in the description after. Uh, after this goes online, I'll try and add it in there. Oh, let's see. What are your plans for Me Made May? It's right around the corner. Um, oh, thank you, Levada. It's a free pattern. That's awesome. Um, <clears throat> Uh, let's see. Um, what, are, what are your plans for Me Made May? I um, May for me is always um, Uh, June 15th. So May for me, me made May for me is really about sewing for others because I don't have time to make anything for myself in May normally um, because I have a lot of sewing to do for my family. Um, so I haven't decided what I'm going to make for my husband yet, um, but um, I will be, I have decided I'm going to make those transformer jackets for the boys. Have you seen those on Ellie and Mac? Um, there are jackets that turn into a backpack. Oh, they're amazing. Um, and I think the boys would really could use those. Like if they go somewhere and they need to take a jacket, they don't have to, their moms don't have to carry them then. And so I, I think it would be really nice. Um, I'm going to make a twirly, twirly dress for Ada. I'm not sure which one. She's a girly girl. And Dottie wants a frozen backpack. So I've made that backpack pattern. Um, for all the kids so this it's her third birthday so it's time for her to get one my microphone went out uh-oh Ah. Okay. All right, I'm back to, can you hear me now? I'm just back to my camera uh, microphone because I think my battery died on the other one, so. I hope you heard, <laughs> I hope I was, didn't miss too much what I was talking about. I hope you got what you needed from when I was talking about the channel. Um, yeah. I'm going to um, end up with a dead iPad in just a few moments. So I'm probably going to need to wrap this up soon. Did anybody else have any questions? Oh, good. Thank you, Penny. <laughs> oh, thank you so much, you guys. I um, enjoyed this so much. Um, yeah, we'll do this again next week. Um, unless this isn't good for you guys, let me know. But I think as long as this time works, we'll do it the same time next week. And um, at least while we're 
in isolation, we'll, we'll do it fairly often and then we'll kind of see um, how the frequency, how, you know, how people like it. I meant to mention too, this is a forte from Love Notions in case you wonder what this top is. Um, it's got many options, so just to uh, let you know. Thank you so much, Dottie. I love your name. My granddaughter, my littlest granddaughter is Dottie. She's Dorothy, it's named after my mom, so a very special name. Oh, you too, Penny, have a blessed week. I will put that link to, uh, someone asked for our uh, worship link, and I'll put the link to our service this morning in there, um, in the description for later. Joanne, you stay safe as well. Vanessa, thank you so much. Mary Jane, thank you. I had a lot of fun with you guys as well. Sam, thank you so much. I mean, I hope that answer helped you. Please feel free to reach out if you have any other questions. I'm more than happy to help and share, no problem. And Sam, also, would you um, message me and let me know what your channel is so I can find you, so I can watch what you've got there so far? Because I'd love to keep tabs and um, maybe give you a little plug and <laughs> help you get started, because someone did that for me. So I'd appreciate it if you'd send me that. Thank you, Heather. You do you as well. Have a wonderful, wonderful weekend. Um, yeah, good luck on your paper. <laughs> I think you see the light at the end of the tunnel, so that's good. Um, oh, you're named after your grandmother's. Yeah, my just like my little granddaughter, she's named after my her great grandma, my mom. Thank you, Teresa. I really appreciate that. Ruth, hello. Nice to see you. We're about to can't uh, go off because my iPad's about to die, but um, please join us again. Thank you so much. Lola, you're 62 as well. Awesome. Favorite top pattern from them? I love the 24-7 uh, top because it you can use scraps. Um, it's a woven and knit mix. Love it. I did a video on it a couple weeks ago. That's my favorite Ellie and Mac pattern so far that I've made. Oh, have a wonderful week too, Susan. Thank you so much. It was wonderful being with all of you guys. And um, please feel free to reach out and ask questions. Um, I try really hard to get back with people. Sometimes it gets to be, you know, a little time before I can go back in and comment on everything. It's, it's you know, a little hard to fit everything in. But um, I promise I... Try to at least look out for questions and get those answered as quick as possible. Um, but if you don't, if you put a comment on there and you don't get an answer right away, please feel free to email me or nudge me or something. And I, because I don't want any questions to go unanswered ever, even if I'm busy. So please feel free to reach out. And um, yeah, if any of you guys are starting channels and you um, want me to check it out and give you some feedback and I can, um, you know, maybe uh, do a video where we feature some of you guys, some of the newer channels. Um, just let me know and maybe we can do a video um, and talk about each one and, um, you know, do a little spotlight on you guys because I, I know what it's like to start and it's hard. You start really with no subscribers and it's amazing how, um, you know, how the word travels. Um, but when I was starting out, somebody helped me. So um, my dear friend Karina, Lifting Pins and Needles is one that helped me a lot. And Whitney from Tomcat Stitchery, she's also a good friend. And they both helped me with by doing collaborations with me. And um, that's when my channel really took off. So um, I owe everything to those ladies. So um, yeah, so I would love to return the favor. So reach out to me if you're starting a channel. All right, well, it's really nice chatting with all of you. So have a wonderful, wonderful rest of the Sunday and I'll have a blessed week and um, I'll be seeing you soon. I'm not sure exactly what day, but um, if I get this uh, dogwood apron made, I'll probably do a video on that. And um, yeah, whatever else comes up my way. I've got a couple other things I need to do too, like that itch to stitch. <laughs> um, 
and be focused coming up as well. I just, uh, I have all the things I need to do to do that, but then there's just been other videos that have popped up that were time sensitive where that wasn't. So um, yeah, I try to stay up on top of all the sales and feature things, you know, that are on sale for you guys so that you know about the sales and things too. So it's all kind of a juggle. <laughs> so anyway, have a wonderful week. It's been wonderful chatting with you guys and um, I'll see you soon. See you next week in live. Same time. Bye-bye.